channel if you're new here hi my name is Vanessa and today I'm doing kind of like a de-stress with me like a pamper night routine so it's gonna be a very chill cozy kind of aesthetic video I hope you kind of relax watching this video and I also hope you get some ideas of how to relax because I know that this is kind of midterm season and it's a very stressful time so without further ado let's get on to the video First thing that I do to start off my pamper routine is of course get rid of all that makeup and just take care of my skin. I love using Lush scrubs, they just make my skin feel so nice after, just refreshed and like a layer of dirt has just been taken off, it just feels so good. So as you guys know, I love the Angels on Bare Skin one, so that's the one I use most often. After my skin is all nice and clean, I will go in with a face mask. So again, I'm using one from Lush. So this is a Just to Clarify one. I really like it because after when you're washing it off, it kind of goes all scrubby. Also, while that is drying, I will go downstairs and make myself a nice cup of tea. I am a total tea granny. I am in love with tea. So this one is my green mint and lemon tea. I love it for at night because it's really relaxing as well as antioxidant build and it kind of just de bloats me just because of what's in it but then I will head back upstairs to scrub off that face mask like I said it is a little hard to get clean so it does take me a good few minutes but after that I'll make sure that I moisturize my skin really well but lately I've also been loving to put on some vitamin C just because it helps with brightening your skin so this is kind of like a little illuminating serum once I'm done with my skincare routine I will head to go take a bath The most relaxing way to have a bath is with candles as well as I love adding in Epsom salt. So they are not only good for physically relaxing your body, but I feel like just it's like a mental reminder of, oh yeah, this is making my body detense. So I will go ahead and run myself a bath. As well as I love using Lush products, I know it sounds like I'm sponsored by Lush, but seriously, I just love that they're cruelty free and their stuff always smells so ridiculously good. So I will go ahead and use both a bubble balm and a bath bomb if I'm treating myself just because it makes it so bubbly and colorful and it smells so good and that's the best way to me to pamper myself. Once my bath is all ready, I will just sit and relax, drink my tea, maybe throw on a TV show or listen to some music while I kind of just empty my head of anything stressful that has been going on. My bath is all done I make sure that I moisturize because I hate having dry skin and after a hot bath like that your skin will definitely get super dry so I make sure to moisturize everywhere before heading back into my room The next thing that I do is make sure that I put on comfy or cozy clothes. I love being comfy and cozy, especially as I always am cold. I'll throw on pajamas or comfy clothes. My next favorite thing is putting on my fairy lights. So recently I got these ones from Kori. They are a remote controlled one, which is great because I just leave them plugged in and I keep the remote by my bed. And they have a bunch of different settings, which I thought was super cool, but they are curtain fairy lights and I've put them behind my curtains, which I also think is really cool, but they just look super magical and pretty. And I love having them on at night just to create this really nice atmosphere. So if you guys wanna check out any of their fairy lights, their curtain ones or any other sort of fairy lights, I will leave their link down below. So thankful that they sent these to me. So thank you, Kori. I love them. I'm so happy with them. Yeah. 
After all my fairy lights are turned on, I do something mindless. So whether this is reading or watching a TV show or just listening to music, I do something that makes me not think about everything that's going on during the week, whether last week or the next week coming up. I love reading. I'm such a bookworm. But whenever I decide it's time to nearly head to bed, I will go back in the bathroom to brush my teeth, finish up anything else that I need to do before I head back into my room to kind of make my bed all comfy and cozy for the night. The last thing that I do before I do head to sleep is journal and I love doing this because it just empties my head of all the thoughts and stresses and worries and everything before I have to head to sleep. I find that this is probably my most highly regarded relaxing strategy just because like I said it empties all the thoughts of my head. I just write down anything that comes to mind and then it's gone from my brain. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. If you did, please be sure to give this a big thumbs up and let me know if you want to see more videos like this in the future or if you just have video requests in general, like don't be afraid to comment that down below. I always look at those to see what you guys want to see from me. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you found this helpful. I love filming these sort of aesthetic, calm videos. But yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Love you so much. Bye.